The Hummer has gone electric, and if that's not enough proof that anything can happen in 2020, I don't know what is. Here's what it means to you who might buy one and to GM who really wants to sell you one as a GMC. Now, of course, the biggest change in the new electric Hummer is that it's an electric Hummer. But the other big change is that it moves from being a niche and highly divisive vehicle last time we saw it to one that is arguably the flagship of General Motors' future, which is electrification. The basics, 350 miles of range, GM estimates, 1,000 horsepower, you'll need that to lug around its hefty MSRP, 11,500 pound-feet of torque, that's enough to persuade almost anything to get out of the way. Three motor all-wheel drive, zero to 60 in three seconds, that's damn good for what is essentially a small building going down the road. And fast charging support for up to 100 miles of added range in 10 minutes. And of course, it offers all the premium car stuff you might want, like the latest version of Super Cruise Semi-Autonomy, a roof that almost completely comes off in pieces, up to 18 cameras around the thing, including one underneath it, and of course, big screens everywhere in the cabin. But perhaps the most important thing going on in the new Hummer is something you can't see, what GM calls Ultium. It's a new technology of batteries and powertrain components that prove they are really getting serious about realizing that's what differentiates electric vehicles. Really the battery. You can ask Tesla about this. The Ultium battery was developed with their long-term partner LG Chem, and it's all about getting an unfair advantage against other makers who are coming fast. Now, of course, the Chevy Volt and Bolt have already been carrying the electric brand water for General Motors in general for quite a long time. But that's a whole different story. That's a nice, sensible, I'm more progressively knowledgeable than thou type of car. The Hummer comes along and puts hair on that and then hits you in the mouth with it. This new Hummer EV further legitimizes the argument that the hottest thing in electric cars is electric trucks. Rivian, Tesla, Lordstown, maybe even Nikola, are going to be heading to market with the so-called super trucks. Dubbed that because they're as fast as a sports car, pull like a locomotive, have cutting-edge driver assists, and articulate their power like a Mars rover. Check out the new Hummer driving diagonally, what they call crab walk. And the new Hummer can perform a magic act. It can make the premium for electrification, poof, disappear. That's because it's got a high MSRP, a much bigger bed spread to bury the additional cost of an electric powertrain compared to a $30,000 car where there's almost nowhere to hide. Now, interestingly, the last time we saw the Hummer was on its way out during a financial meltdown. Hmm, here we are again, and it's coming back. The big difference, though, is that last time, cars were still the majority of light vehicle sales in the U.S. Now, nearly three quarters of the cars we buy are trucks, utilities, crossovers. There's a whole lot more headroom for this new Hummer to find some traction. Now, GM's other ace in the hole is they can credibly tell you this is the world's first electric super truck long before it arrives because they are a real manufacturer of trucks at scale, unlike just about everybody else bringing a super truck. That means that they can plant their flag now and assume it'll still be there when this thing hits the showroom. Now, as is the fashion these days, you can put down a measly hundred bucks to pre-reserve one of these six-figure super trucks, a thing that's gonna mostly give GM's media team some fun tweets, as opposed to giving the world a real read on enthusiasm for this vehicle. But I don't think they'll be lacking in finding that anyway.